Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I made a video a while back on what a super cube is and how to solve a super 3x3. I want to go over that, but add also how to solve a 4x4 super cube. Just to remind everyone, a super cube needs to have the centers oriented as well as the cube solved. If you solve a cube like normal, all of the edge and corner pieces will automatically be in the right place every time. All you need to know is a couple new algorithms. To make these cubes, I just restickered a Rubik's Brand 3x3, and the 4x4s are a Shangshao and Yushin. The ones with the arrows are from Cubesmith, and the multicolored stickers are from Oliver Stickers. There are two algorithms to orient these centers. The first one rotates the center 180 degrees, and it's RU, R prime U, five times. The other algorithm rotates one center 90 degrees and another center 90 degrees, the other direction. If they are next to each other, just put one center in the front and the other to the left. Now basically, you're just bringing the first center up, turning it in the correct direction, bringing it back down, and then bring over the other center and turning it the opposite way to fix the other pieces. On a 4x4, not only do you have to worry about the centers being oriented in the end, but you need to set up the centers as well from the beginning. Most of this is intuitive, but when you get to the last two centers, you might need to move a few pieces around. Main algorithm to know is R prime U, R U, R prime U prime R U, R prime U, R U two, R prime U prime R. Now some are lowercase and some are uppercase, and I'll have that in the video so you can see that. Now this cycles are three pieces on the bottom left and the top two counterclockwise. Usually I just look for the two pieces that are together correctly already and put them on the top, and that will usually put the pieces in the right place to do the algorithm. If there is nothing touching, you'll most likely have to do the algorithm twice. After that, you just need to solve it like normal. Now most of the OLL algorithms that people use are considered safe algorithms that do not mess up the centers. The PLL algorithm that most people use is not safe and will mess up the centers. Now, of course, you could just mess them up and then do that rotating algorithm that I talked about earlier a bunch of times around the cube, but that would be very time consuming. The safe PLL parity algorithm I do is small r prime, u prime r u, f r two f prime, small r, small l, F R2 F prime U prime R prime U small L prime. You basically move the R slice down, do a series of moves and move it back, then move the L slice down and do the reverse of those first moves. I showed this in the Master Morphics video since technically it's just a 4x4 super cube, although also a shape mod. And that's it. This is a fun way to add some difficulty to some puzzles and make them look a bit crazier as well. Thank you for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.
Thank you.